Hey, yo. Welcome back to another episode of Making Moves, my first crossover episode. I'm so excited to have all these amazing people here. Mm. Woo! It's an honor. <laughs> it really this is. Great. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. Okay, so we'll start with Sally Dar. You guys can go around and introduce yourself. Maybe you know, say where you're from. Okay, that sounds great. Um, my name is Sally Dar. It's a double name, last name Griffin. Um, I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm also wearing a sweater that says "Cowgirls" on it. I guess that kind of applies to Tennessee. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. I'm just. Post on the internet, mostly TikTok, and I'm excited to play trivia. Mm -hmm. and, and you knitted. I, yes, I that. do knit. I knit and try to be mildly funny online. It's kind of mm -hmm. my shtick. She's very funny. We love her. <laughs> um, Matt, go ahead. What's up, guys? I am Matt King. I hail from the great state of Texas. Um, I am the host of three other podcasts, uh, Zayn and Heath Unfiltered, Hoot and Half with Matt King, Good Influences with Carly and Contro. Aaron Kilfoy and Mike Sheffer. I'm a member of Sally Dar's uh, Knitting Club. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I'm TK's cousin, so yeah! I'm happy to be here. <laughs> That's crazy. Who else has three podcasts? Um, I don't know. Barstool people? <laughs> yeah, Barstool people, I would okay. say. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they have like multiple podcasts. I mean, so probably me and like Dave Portnoy. I don't even keep one right, podcast. You guys I didn't even know you guys were cousins. Yeah. You didn't know that? No. They what? have the same yeah. last name, man. <laughs> Fidel Castro is my uncle. No. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, like, get out. Okay, Katie, go ahead. Hi, I'm the daughter of Steve Stone Cold Austin. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Katie Austin. I'm from Virginia, and I'm a fitness personality. I do on-demand and live workouts for a living, healthy recipes, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Rookie of the Year. Hell yes. yes. And uh, that's about it. Amazing. And Reggie, go ahead. I'm Reggie Castro, known as Reggie Creations, and I kind of just live life and post it. And you're also, <laughs> yeah. okay, you're very talented at oh, hair and makeup. Stop I mean, it. look stop who has it. the best beat of the day. Yes. No. Hey. Are you <laughs> 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 it's actually a five minute no makeup makeup right. look. Yeah. Yep. Did it I love it. Okay, well, I wanted to start off with a game so we could get to know each other a little better. Which, by the way, do you guys all know each other? I think so. Yes. We have to, I feel like this is our first official like time, you. but yes. we've known each other. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We like run the same ish circles. Yeah. Okay, but this is the first time you've met. Yes. Yes. Okay. Officially. And then, Reggie, do you know everyone? I've seen <laughs> these girlies around. Yeah. Okay. You know? Sports Illustrated. Hey, Sports Kelly. Illustrated. Great body. Oh my god. Oh, I know. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, I can't believe Thank you wore you this so much. This much many clothes. Yeah, I'm just covering up. I'm very <laughs> modest. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Imagine she walks in with a bikini. <laughs> Honestly, I would love it. Honestly, I kind of would. Do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't doubt that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know Matt. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <We've met before. laughs> Reggie. <laughs> I feel pretty even across the board. Yeah. Like okay. with everyone. Like yeah. Katie's good friends with my lovely fiance Patricia. Mm -hmm. I've known Reggie through the vlog squad, Sally Dar, Knitting Club, our social friend circle. Mm -hmm. Same with you. Okay. This is a good bunch. It is a good Amazing. bunch. Amazing. I'm excited. Okay, so the game, I'm just calling it the favorites game. And we're gonna start with Sally Dar. And it's like rapid fire. So I'm going to say a category. You have to tell me your favorite. I'll do mine as well. I feel okay. like we're giving away like all of our security information oh with these questions. And your social security <laughs> number. <laughs> okay. First thing is Sally Dar, favorite color? Blue. Blue. Red. Olive green. Oh. Gold. Oh. oh. Okay. You didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. Olive green surprises me. Well, I just feel like it's such a, it's so, it sounds so cliche, but it's like my, what do you call it, my spirit color. Yeah. Okay. It goes best with like my skin tone. Yeah, it's like the best color to wear. Um, changing like my brand logos to it. I just really love olive green. Oh, wow. So she always have. Have you guys heard about like people who get their colors done? Yes. Yes. The and, like, there's like these specialist who will like put these like um you know uh, i don't know like fabrics, fabrics around mm -hmm. you trying to find your colors you pay to get this done it's like expensive Ooh, i made a tiktok about this and people got really mad at me <laughs> wait why oh, they get mad no. well because well they didn't get mad at me basically this girl made a tiktok talking about it which maybe is why you know about it yes. and then i she was talking about how she her mom got it done for her when she was like a little girl and then she never appreciated it. But then as she got older, she was like, oh, wait, like these are the colors that like make me look good. So I was talking about it because at the beach one summer, my grandmother and her sisters did it to all of us. Like we didn't pay someone, but they just like had a book and like brought clothes out. So then they did all of our colors. Uh -huh. So I'm in autumn. 
But so I made Whoa. a TikTok talking about that. And then all these people were like, I don't understand this. You should be able to wear whatever you want. And I'm like, I'm literally wearing blue. This is not my color palette. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my color palette. But so all these people are getting mad. They're like, wear what you want. Why are you telling people that they're only allowed? I was like, that's not what I said. Yeah, no. It's just oh. kind of fun. That's but I work. also get it because when you have those special events where you want to like make sure you're feeling your best, like a, a first date or like an event yeah. or something, yeah. you know, and you're like, okay, this is what I feel most confident Very in. True. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not, not going to wear autumn every single day. Right. <laughs> but like I notice when I wear colors that are in my color palette like I get way more compliments on what oh, I'm wearing wow. yeah. like people are just like oh that sweater looks good on you I'm like this is a plain sweater but it's just because it's my color well maybe we should do it on the next yeah, episode, we'll yeah. episode. Yeah. next category movie this can I this is really hard because Matt and I both post on Letterboxd which is a film review app and you mm-hmm. pick your four favorite movies on there so I, I I'm like firm in these four for four different reasons okay but if I had to pick one Little Miss Sunshine Ooh, wow. great Ooh. fantastic Mine, which is part of my top four on Letterbox, mm-hmm. is When Harry Met Sally. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Uh, mine's Remember the Titans. Oh. That's a good one. Oh, that was um, my, the, <laughs> God, I sound horrible already. That was my public school in, my, in Virginia. Remember the Titans Get is out. literally oh. like, like I grew up next to T.C. Williams. No oh, way. Wow. I literally, but I went to the private school with like 80 people per class. Oh but my that was gosh. The, if I was to go to public school, it'd be that. Did they film it and there? All, a lot of my friends were there. Uh, I don't know. I think so. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if you were like an extra but, like, like remember oh, the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I'm in the so background. Like, it's, all, it's all based on like the exact neighborhood that I grew up in. Get Whoa. out. Yeah. That's really that. cool. That's really cool. More you know. Um, my favorite movie is Bridesmaids. Oh, <laughs> I literally was going to say I watched, that. Get out. Oh, seriously? But, yeah, I, so similar. I literally love it. I, mm, everyone has their own character in their friend group. That's like, oh my God, I'm yes. this person and this person. Yes. But it's like, so who are you? In Bridesmaids. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. Um, I'm more of that girl who, oh, I forgot her name. It's okay, describe her. But she's like, she sings like, keep shining. <laughs> she's, she's, like, <laughs> yes. she's literally the Bridesmaid. She's oh, like Kristen Wiig? Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Wig. Or Maya Rudolph. Or, yeah, yeah, I forget her name in the movie as well. Yeah. Okay, amazing. I love it. Bridesmaids, is that what you're picking? No. Or something else? I love Home Alone. Oh, no matter, no matter what. No matter what. But it reminds me of Chicago, Chicago, and that's where I'm from. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's fun. I always visit visited the house. How I far told away myself is it from I you? Would buy the house <gasps> if I was to sec- like up there. You know, they had a giveaway where you could stay in or like on Airbnb, stay at the Home Shut Alone up. house that's this cool. past Christmas. But only one person could win it. But they, only one person could live in the house or like stay in the house for like a few nights. That's during, crazy. Like, uh, the that could be like a horror movie. I know, right? <laughs> I love this. Ooh. Okay, Don't moving right along. Right. Food. My mom's poppy seed chicken casserole. Oh, that was wow. so wholesome. Yeah. I would say like my mom's carbonara that she usually makes, but it's like a penne carbonara, which is oh, okay. like not like the usual kind of like a uh, 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 pasta, but yeah, I would say that. Yum. I would say like a really yummy thin crust margarita pizza. Oh, good. <laughs> I would say rice. And you could do so many things with rice, fried rice, paella, risotto. Are we yeah. the same person? <laughs> I'm Asian. Rice. No, I was gonna, I was gonna say rice, but I love nachos. Oh, no. oh. nachos! Every bite is different. What about your little bottles that you're obsessed with? Oh right my now? god, yes, those two. But they're really sweet, and I don't know if it's good for my. Health. <laughs> so it's cute. That. It's it like is. it's, it's really an adult cute. baby bottle. What is it? It's like a Korean drink or like an Asian drink. I don't know if it's Korean. Is it like a milk but type of milk? Yes. Oh. And it comes in like an adult bottle like this and you screw on the baby bottle top. Like a nipple top. Yes. It's, it's like the game but one. like actually, yeah, I we all have one. them. <laughs> <laughs> Just next sucking party. on it. That'd be amazing. Okay, next category, song. Favorite song. This is so hard. I was really like, I, I don't. It is hard. I'm going to pick just like my favorite at the moment. Okay. Or most representative at the moment. There's this song called 26, and I'm 26, so I have to embrace it for the next like seven months that I'm 26. It's called 26. It's by Carol Addis. Okay. Her name's Caroline. You've never it's, heard of it's that. It's good. It's just like more representative. Of, Is it about being 26 years yeah, old? Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. Damn. I wish I heard that song when I was 26. Right. Well, I just have to listen to it on repeat for the next time. I'm looking forward to listening to it in my 26th year. Mm -hmm. My favorite song is by Paul Simon. 
uh, called Graceland, which is on the Graceland album. It's really, really Love good. It. Yeah, you should listen to it. Amazing. <laughs> Mine's September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> I would have never guessed. Really? Yes. It's because like my parents played it growing up. I feel, I feel like it was like my family's anthem in a mm-hmm. way. I feel like a nostalgic nostalgic song right now that I've been like re-listening to you know when you like have an unlocked memory and mm-hmm. all of a sudden it becomes your favorite song again I've been playing I Hope You Dance by Leanne Womack have you ever Aww. heard like, like oh, yeah. that's a great song that's so good and I like literally blasted the top of my lungs while driving here and it's just like uh, such a freeing song to like remember like how young we still are and like how much life we have to live mm. Mm. ooh I love that I love it too okay Matt actually <laughs> sold me the song <laughs> what song? <laughs> Sixes to Nine. Oh yeah oh! it just Puts you in a good mood. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a great song. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah, I, re- Thank I, you for I that. think I remember. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for <laughs> that. It's like kind of like back like in the boring quarantine days where you would have just like a few friends <laughs> yeah. over, and yeah, we would just like drink and listen to that song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could you? Did you ever think that you would be the? Well, the I gotta get. I, I know if Patricia's gonna listen and watch this episode, she's gonna be like, "Well, I technically <laughs> showed you that song, and I feel like you probably played it for Reggie, and I told you to play it, so he probably thinks that I should." So shout out, so it's probably Patricia. Okay, yeah. amazing. Okay, Sally Dar, what's your favorite day of the week? Thursday, Friday Eve. Wow, it's I, a great day. I would agree, Thursday. But we we're partying, like we're okay. going, going we're out. going out Thursday. Mm-hmm. It's one of those should we Thursdays, <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. where then it pushes into a good Friday, or it's kind of like a lazy Friday, but then everyone has enough energy for yeah. that Friday, even though it's gonna mess up your entire week. It's or it's gonna, <laughs> or it's gonna turn it into a full on bender the weekend. <laughs> But like, just that should we Thursday. Okay, like, like. should we Thursday. Or like an accidental drunk is like my favorite ever. Oh, you're like, let's yeah. just go for one drink and all of a sudden it's 3 a.m. We're yep. like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> on a day, it's you're not supposed to be drinking. Exactly. Okay. Right now, I would say mine's Sunday. It's my favorite day. Oh, my Me too. Day. Really? Yeah. I just love it. Are you like a know. Sunday reset person or are you like grinding on like your Sundays? Like... <laughs> I feel like a little bit of both. And also it's like my day that I feel no guilt like doing whatever I want. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I like it because I feel like I can do whatever I want. I don't feel guilty, like relaxing. I like gotcha. That. I like Sunday as well because it just it feels like, huh? I'm just gonna smoke some weed <laughs> and just like chill. It go, feels very go to church. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Go to church. <laughs> I still have volunteer. That done that, but... Yeah. Volunteer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I just love it. Sunday. I love it. I wish I could be that fitness girl that's like Monday. You get to it. It's amazing. <laughs> but no, I'm not. I would say Saturday and it's Ooh. so basic. But at the same time, like my perfect Saturday is like waking up not hungover, working out, cooking a good breakfast, and then like going to like a 1 p.m. brunch and then just being drunk to like, oh, you know, yeah. the night. That's, that's, a great Saturday. Saturday. that's like my weekend. I don't go Saturday, out Friday, yeah. but like just like productive first half of Saturday and then partying the second half. I love it. I think we get back on that. I love it. Okay, <laughs> Sally Dar, favorite social media platform? At the moment, YouTube. Hell yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. Hell yes, YouTube. She's been busting out the vlogs. Yeah, she is. Everyone go yeah. watch. Thanks. I love it. Um, <laughs> mine lately has been Snapchat because I like posting whatever I want. Instagram <laughs> stories, I, the thing is, is like there's a lot of cool people on Instagram. Those cool people follow like you and like you feel like kind of embarrassed about what you put on Instagram. Snapchat, I'm like, I don't give a fuck who sees this. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's like a bit of like a freedom where you're like, it's there. I don't know who saw it or what, what happened, but then it's gone. I don't know. I like Snapchat okay. way more. Reroll the clips, TK. Yes. Reroll the Katie clips. Katie Austin, like over a year ago, was like, Snapchat is the best. Everyone needs to get on it. She was the only girl advocating for Snapchat. There was Snapchat. only 3,000 creators. Like, I was on it, what, um, t- three years, three and a half years ago? There was 3,000 stars. And you were like, creators, this is where I make and the most I literally, money. And now the vlog squad is taking yes. over Snapchat, <laughs> taking over my views. Exactly. And, like, and literally, like, one of your friends always gives me shit for it because I've been on Snapchat for so many years. And it's always been my favorite app. And yeah. now all your friends are on it. And <laughs> And like my views have dropped like twelve million. Oh, really? Oh my God. Yeah, because of, and no, it's like it's it's actually just so funny to me because it's like I like it because the more people that come on the platform, the more visibility you can yes. get. Oh. But because I was one of the only ones on the app for so long, creating that type of content every day, that you know it was just easier. It was like you know if you're one of the only thousand on it, mm-hmm. it's so much easier. Now it's like overcrowded, but like that's also still so good for me because more people are going to go to the app. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. interesting. I will say I watched both of your guys's Snapchats. You were on my like. Oh, you yeah, yeah. on Snapchat yeah. last night. Oh, wow. Cool. Wait, no. wow. <laughs> Me too. I need yeah. to subscribe oh, to you. You, you, you like, posted your risotto. Yeah, yeah. 
and like oh, and like the jumpsuit. Sure, the see through. I love that ju- see through jumpsuit. Oh, I'm returning suit, by the way. it. I'm returning it. <laughs> but it looks so and good. I'd actually on love you. to get you your post- take on it. I, I don't oh, yeah. know. That you're like very so, stylish. You're love it. But I Reggie's gonna love it. Yeah. I okay, want to see I'll, it. I'll what are you posting on Snapchat? A see-through jumpsuit? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, you have to pay for a wall. So yeah, I just, yeah. No, no. That's why she loves it so much. <laughs> My favorite social media platform is definitely YouTube. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Katie? Oh, Snapchat. Snapchat. I'm also on the board of Snapchat. So I'm one of seven what? creators oh. on the board of Snapchat. And every quarter we do like these um, big conferences. And so basically, like, I've loved being a part of it. I go into their offices. I tell them, like, you know, the tech side of it, too. I literally have done speeches for them. Oh, my so God. I'm wow. kind of more like an ambassador, too. Damn. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's so great. You can kind of put in a good word for all of us. Yeah. yeah. That's so sweet of you. It's <laughs> actually really, really cool to mm-hmm. be a part. And I went to, there was like 30 tech people at this meeting. And I basically told them like what people love and don't like about the app. Mm. And to actually see it be played out. I'm not kidding you. Two weeks later, a feature that I told them to add is now added. And I'm like, that's freaking wow. insane that I feel like I was a part of like tech a part of mm-hmm. that yeah as a creator you don't really get that with like instagram tiktok no. you know i wish i could be like that like a consultant but for like movies when they talk about social media or like like yeah. you like an emily and like paris like she like will do the most unrealistic thing on yeah. social media just come in and go can we just change yes. how this is being portrayed <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you should like, do that oh yeah. you think so it's a really good idea i think we can make a whole team guys <laughs> yes. let's we take could. over and i charge like a hundred thousand dollars for like, yeah. like yeah, consulting yeah. is just like you that know? is so true every influencer <laughs> in a show is like not accurate in the slightest yeah very true okay reggie what about you i feel like no one has said it tiktok because i could literally just sit there for hours Mm -hmm. i don't even watch tv sometimes i know i I play i like i watch something on the tv but i literally just scrolling Mm -hmm. i feel like you go live kind of a bit on tiktok oh i do which i love jesus it's kind of of nerve-wracking but it's actually really fun if like none of my friends literally answer their facetime calls yes i literally (laughs) just go live yeah, that's mm-hmm. smart. Because I'm talking to someone else. That's a good idea. I, I feel, love it. I okay, it. Sally Dar, favorite animal? Um, pig. I've been obsessed with pigs since Cute. I was little. I used to collect pig stuffed animals and like put them in this basket and begged for a pig for years and years and never got one. My sister asks for a dog, gets it the next Christmas. <sighs> I feel like this is your year to get a pig. So <laughs> <laughs> you're a mini pig. I like don't. A I, mini in pig. my apartment, I, that would be so scary. But maybe one day I'll have a pig. Actually, I should just like live on a farm where I can just have more. There you animals. go. Mm. My favorite animal. It would be uh, the blue whale. It's like the biggest mammal on earth. Great it's, answer. It's wow. massive, it's and so you forget that they exist. <laughs> you yeah. do. Oh, I can't like I'll, I get just sucked in on like blue whale TikTok, and I'm just watching <laughs> whale have videos. You, till have three you done in the whale watching before? Yes, and I love whale watching because you have to be so patient. Nature is like summoning you to just look at it and yeah. wait, and it's something that's just. And when you see it, it's something that's like indescribable that nothing at SeaWorld could ever like deliver you. Can like, you it's, now imagine like now growing up? I used to love SeaWorld, but like. In capturing those no. animals and putting them in SeaWorld it's crazy. is so inhumane. Mm-hmm. Like thinking back now that I'm older, like yeah. how crazy it was. And They're how supposed small to travel hundreds and thousands and of how miles. How large they are? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, love the whales. Save the whales. Um, similar to yours, my favorite animal is a dolphin. <gasps> Ooh, I love them. Answer. I would say mine is koala. I've heard that they're not very nice. I've never mm. met one in person, but my boyfriend really relates me to one because I'm a huge cuddler. Oh, cute. So oh. I, I, I like that because he calls me a koala. <laughs> cute. <laughs> um, I would say fish, just like any type of fish, like a pet fish. Okay. <laughs> I, I actually have two aquariums at my house. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You're an aquarium uh, boy now. Yeah, I love aquascaping, <laughs> so yeah. Wait, what kind of fish do you have? I have guppies right now, and they just keep reproducing. How many total do you think you have? He's creating an army. Um, no, literally, it's like I had to get a second tank because they overproduced, wow. and they just keep pushing babies out. Yeah. They're, they're horny fucks. So, I, like, hey, babe, I get it. You don't have to Have you guys it. ever seen a seahorse give birth? <laughs> yes. No. It's the crazy. The water the turns male, black. The male seahorse gives the birth or births it right <laughs> yes the ma- the male does give birth to the babies it's literally like, like he fertilizes the eggs in the female the female then puts the eggs in back in the male and then yes. the male 
Uh, no, he, had, he like, just shoots he, out. Yes, the, yes. <laughs> he shoots out the seahorses. Right? Isn't this true? Yes. Like, More than one. It's no, literally like, it's, it's like, like the seahorses' like, like, yeah, tail it's looks like jack. it's doing like a pike jump, and it's literally like, and then thousands of mini seahorses come out. Put on the screen out. right here. Yeah. 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 Right. We'll I feel like we're on Joe Rogan right now. We're like, Jamie, pull that off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Pull the clip. Look at Sally, our favorite season. <laughs> um, fall, particularly like August into September, mm. that kind of like back to school time. It's a great time. Yeah, that like crisp fall, mm-hmm. like that that all too well like mm-hmm. yeah, like ten minute like Taylor like, Swift, Taylor's leaves version, fall yes. like yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, that kind of the. <laughs> 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 like, you know, like, like, yeah, I like, love that. Yeah, song. Fall, I call it fall too well. <laughs> fall too well. <laughs> But like you did just the beginning of all too well. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like drum, drum. like I saw a TikTok where someone's like, "Is it just me or is it like f- this song is like how it is outside right now?" And yeah. everyone was like, oh, yes. yeah, 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 yeah." Well, like every that. Taylor Swift album has a season if you want to hear them all. But really, yes, they all have. a What's season. What's Reputation? Uh, well, that one's debatable, but oh. it has New Year's Day on it, so a lot of people say it's like, kind of like January, oh. wintery. Yeah. Okay. But all, Red is a fall album. Oh. Totally. Mm-hmm. Wow. So is that the same for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fall too well? <laughs> fall too well. <laughs> I'm a summer girly, for sure. Right. I like fall too. My birthday is October 2nd, and I think I just have the best birthday ever. I know I'm biased, and everyone probably thinks I have the best <laughs> birthday. But like that, again, September, beginning of October, especially I'm from the East Coast, like the best the ever timing in Virginia and New York City too. Mm-hmm. Spring. Ooh. Yeah. We all f- no, we, not winter. Oh, almost hit all four. F winter. Yeah. Yeah. Like she's canceled, but spring. Okay. I love seeing like the flowers bloom and then you're like, ooh, summer's about to come. Yeah. Anticipation. It's the best. Mm-hmm. True. I love that. Okay. Amazing. Now that we all know each other. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that was a fun little game to get to know everyone. So I wanted to. Uh, get to know each other even more like on a deeper Ooh. level mm-hmm. so i'm just gonna throw out a question and you guys feel free to answer we don't need to g- go in like a okay. you know an order feel free to debate everyone get ready um so just we are in 2023 now new year new us new goals so my question is what is a habit you're trying to break this year Ooh. feel free to marinate I guess I can go first. I feel like this okay. is very um, just on the top of my mind is not being so hard on myself and giving myself grace. I am the type of person who's just like constantly like running my mind of like things I should do better. And so that's a habit I'm definitely trying to break. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I should probably do that too. Yeah. I just, I don't know. My mind runs at night being like, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. Just like chill the hell out. Give yourself grace, peace, um, and like focus on what actually matters. I love it. Amazing. What about y'all? I have this is like a weird guilty pleasure. Okay, like I'm, I have this like big addiction to like Facebook and going on it and seeing what <laughs> random people are up to from my life. Like someone will just pop in my head, like a person from second grade. I'm like, where are they now? And I get so hung up on like looking into someone like, okay, like, where are they? What are they up to? <laughs> kind of like in a weird guilty pleasure way. But, but I need, but I realize it's like such a time suck where like I'll realize I've spent like. Like a little over thirty minutes, like going diving. How on often are you doing this? Like how many times a week? <laughs> like, it's like an addiction. Like three, or four, three or four or five Wait, times. Really? A week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't want like because Instagram, it's like all of your friends. It's like social media. It's your business. Sometimes it's like, oh, I don't want to look at that. TikTok's like junk. I love looking at like houses and stuff. Like yeah. that's fun. But I'll do these like investigative quests trying to find people from my past because it's almost like kind of like a murder mystery kind of oh. not everybody's on facebook so you like find them on linkedin okay. or you're like where is that person or if someone doesn't have a social media footprint i'll look up if they're arrested or like if oh they've been God. in jail oh. yeah That's... so i'm trying to accept like matt just stop doing that and stop being so nosy <laughs> Matt, I'm like dying at our differences of answers. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. oh. I thought we were getting deep. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Because I did it last night. This makes and so it, much I spent sense too long for you it. because I feel like you're the type of person that meets strangers and you like, you ask them the random questions where you learn so much about them. And yeah. then I could see you being like, what happened to them? Remember when they were like yeah. doing this? Like that in a weird way makes sense. Yes, yes, yes. I just get a little like hung up on. I just can't believe you do it like three or four times a week. I can't believe you just do it yourself. 
Yeah. <laughs> By yourself. I would be like with a friend and be like, remember oh, this yeah. person? Yeah. But, but trust me, going I, on. I burn yourself. Out all my friends with that stuff. Like, they're like, I don't, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I feel like I'm going insane. So therefore, I got to find this person. I don't reach out to them, but I just need to know if they exist or what happened to them. Like, okay. That's Good. my <laughs> weird, guilty pleasure. I'm just trying to stop. Mm. Sally Dar, what okay, about you? Sally Dar. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, I guess it's kind of a habit, more so just like something to break in general. I don't know if I would classify it as a habit. Um, but there are just like certain like rules that I make up for myself that like actually are like nonsensical. Like even something as simple as like I make a coffee and then I go make a second coffee. And in my mind, I have to like pour out the ice, even though the ice is like still good. Like there are just certain things like this morning I used the same ice and I was really proud of myself. Oh. Um, or like, I don't know, like I... Just, like, dumb little rules that I have that, like, don't, like, make sense at all. And I don't have any other examples. When I, like, I beat myself up when I, like, don't follow one of those rules. Oh. And then I get, like, really upset and it, like, ruins my day. And it's like, okay, well, you literally just made a mistake. It's fine. So probably, like, beating so myself up. So giving yourself up. some grace. Yeah. yeah, but more so just trying to, like, retrain my brain to, like, not follow these, like, made-up rules that, like, are really just I put in place for God knows what reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Um, I break. I broke the streak of four years not working out. I'm so sorry. Wait, you <laughs> broke the streak of not working. Wait, I, I haven't worked out in four four years. Okay. Wow. Whoa. And, yeah, I know. So Stop you just it. went to the. I, I went to Zila and then Bella. Uh, that's why I'm so sore. Everything takes time right now because like. Wait, it, that's amazing, Reggie. Yeah. I know. I'm when trying to get. When was your first day that. back at the gym? Um, Thursday because. There's this whole thing, and she can't train me. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll walk the stairs. That's... Just know at the same time, though, like, you know, going full force can be so disheartening sometimes. So, like, start slow. You can always progress. Like, start with, like, 15 minutes, you know? Yeah. Mm. And then always go up from there. Like, always add on a minute. Yeah. I mean, she went ham Yeah, us. that's really – if you haven't worked out I in four like, years, you shouldn't go, crazy. like, ham for an hour is my personal opinion. I couldn't even jump rope for three minutes. So what would you recommend? That's okay. Could. You can always progress. Like, every pro every amazing athlete starts somewhere. What re what um workouts would you recommend? Yes. Okay, so you can go to <laughs> <laughs> So you can download her app. <laughs> no. I'm not or for you. someone in but Reggie's position. That I would just out. go yeah. for a 30-minute walk and then do 10 minutes of toning. Like, you can do 10 minutes of abs, uh, leg lifts, um, some bicep curls, but start really small and don't do anything like over an hour. And you don't need to push yourself through anything super intimidating, like, you know, hit workouts or strength training. Like it has to be fun and you have to want to do it mm, if you're going to yeah. stay consistent at it. And if you're like so sore afterwards, you're going to be like, shit, why the fuck am I doing this? No, I definitely want to do it. Keep going. Okay. Okay. But the thing is, I'm addicted to food. Oh, well, same. Yeah. You like, say, yeah. food is just so freaking I good. I know. But that's okay. You're, Live your life. You can do both. You're in a great tone shape, though. For like no. Four years of not working out and liking food. Yeah. Jesus. You look amazing. I think you And California and you has the both. best food, in yeah. my opinion. You shouldn't limit yourself. I mean, like... here's the thing. it's Everything's about moderation, and I think it's about portion size as well. So if you want to eat, say, your favorite foods, that's totally okay. Just cut back the portions a little bit. Damn right. Wait, and can I ask a question? Because I heard this. Are you doing dry year? I Like, I, I just don't like... Alcohol. But that's going to be great like, for you if yeah. you're not choosing to drink and yeah. you're getting into yeah. fitness. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're going to see a huge change. I mean, I'm using other things <laughs> to have fun. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, yeah. Alcohol is like, uh. yeah, yeah. Like, Wait. marijuana is my friend right now. Yeah. And it's so fun. Like, I don't get a hangover. I still have fun. You're California going sober. Out. And I feel like I'm more in the, I don't know, space. Every single time I go in a club or something, like, if I'm drunk already, I'm like, I go home. Yeah, you have a yeah. bit but right more now control. I'm just like, okay, let's keep going. Let's mm. yeah. love meeting people. So what drink are you getting at the bar now for anyone that's sober and is like, oh, I want to have a drink still in my hand? Coco Sprite. Oh, Coco Sprite. Okay, yeah. right. It seems like you're drinking something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no, it's just sugar. <laughs> you know? I know. I've been doing dry January and Diet Coke has been like my best friend. Mm. It's so crazy. I'm like, I can't remember the last time I was like, oh, I'll order a Diet Coke instead of uh, alcoholic beverage. Yeah. But it's great. We did that at that concert that we went to and I was like, that sounds good. Yeah, we did. And I was like, I don't want a beer. Diet Coke sounds wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> Sally Dar and I went to Keith Urban concert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and that Coke. was a Diet Coke and hit. Yeah. It hit. <laughs> yeah we <laughs> went crazy good. that night. Yeah. Next question is, what is a non-negotiable in your routine? Oh, it's 
Like, you did? <laughs> okay, go you ahead. You go first. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your seven minute stretch. <laughs> I pay attention. <laughs> you do. Gosh, am I, going, am I going first again, I guess? Go ahead. Wait, let me see if I can guess. Your daily routine or seven routine? minute stretch. Before 7 a.m. Before 7 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Oh, before wow. 7 a.m. God damn it. You um, missed the second daylight. part. No, Sunlight. Sunlight. Oh, um, uh, lemon water. Oh, yeah. Lemon water. Kind okay, of basic. All of these but... are also so basic, but so many health benefits. But all of these, they sound really, like, really basic. So I'm just going to say my my non-negotiable in the morning is seven minutes of stretching before 7 a.m. It's super doable. And, you know, you could do it in your pajamas. I do it in my PJs every single day. Did you just and start that? Or I started it probably in October. Oh, wow. But I've done seven minutes of stretching since October, but I just added in this year seven minutes of stretching before 7 a.m. Just oh. because I feel like it's like the on best way. Or yeah. like, wait, we're we doing a this weekday. on the weekend? No, only too? on no, the, not weekend. the weekends. Oh gosh, <laughs> only the weekends. <laughs> okay, <but laughs> only the weekends. The question was non. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. In your routine. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, are we saying every day like brush my teeth? <laughs> oh, I, don't know. Well, I was just thought, I was like, damn, she's like stretching like on oh, a Saturday at seven a.m. Like, Hell and then no. hopping back in bed. I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, Hell no. and then you go back to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. no, stretching's great. Yeah. It's just like it's a great way to wake your body up and get yourself energy, get your blood circulated, and feel good. And we're getting sleep. old. <laughs> yeah, it feels really Jesus. good, especially if you're sore from your workouts. Right? Oh, yes. seven a.m. stretch. Non-negotiable is something that you do every day. Yeah. Okay. So for me, it'd probably be working out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just like makes me sane, I feel. I had to do like the New York Times crossword, give it a shot. Every, <laughs> every day? Di every day. Wow. Every day, Monday through Sunday. And then there's another one called framed.wtf. And it's, you guess, uh, it gives you a frame from a movie. It's almost like Wordle. Oh, that's fine. And it starts off harder and you have to guess what movie it's from. And then if you don't get it the first one, it gives you another frame and it gets oh. easier and easier. How and I have my does buddy Matt and Cam and we do it every single day and we just How long does it usually other. take you to do the crossword? Oh, it depends. Like on a Monday, 15 minutes. <laughs> Tuesday, an hour. But like sometimes I don't finish them. I just try to go as far as I can. That's very I'm impressive. Amazing, amazing brain camp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's good because it takes all that random stuff that you have stuffed in your brain and like it's just good recall and it actually like makes that. it like useful. So I need to do that. I like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I have to do it every day cuz mm -hmm. I can be as lazy in my laziest moment. I can still, still do, do the, the crossword. crossword. So um, mine is literally eating a banana. Like I <laughs> wait, have, get out. I, I could not tell. Like that is you're just, kidding. Except when I'm hungover, sometimes bananas like because they're too sweet. Like I need something yeah. like, salty, and it doesn't sound good. But I I like have to have a banana and coffee. Damn, like that wow. is just like I buy bananas and, and never touch them. <laughs> banana Same. like banana and coffee. Like I just like, like make that's a coffee, your ideal eat combo. a banana. Like just like that's the first okay. thing I put in my body is like I need. Coffee. Get banana. out. I don't know. I just. just yeah. Like a wow. Do you have like a. Is there. Do you like it more bruised? Do you like it more green? Um, or perfectly I just yellow? Like, just like the perfect banana. I mean, I'd rather it be more brown than green because. Okay. Green is like whatever. But um, yeah, I've just found that I'm happier when I have. Like, there, there's been times in my life when I don't have a banana. I'm like, I'm angry that that's not the oh, first wow. thing that I put Whoa. in my body. Wow. I just like, I don't know. But I'm Even also when you're like, traveling? I, yeah, I mean, I preferably. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like gonna. I'm. We'll eat something else, obviously. But like, I just. Oh, I did not know that about you. Yeah. I, I'm very like. I, I, I like eat like the same thing like on like rotation until I get sick of it, and then I move on to the next thing. But like, banana has stayed consistent in my life like Hell for yes. years. Let's give it up for wow. bananas. Banana. <laughs> okay. Also, awesome. and also, just to talk about why I like bananas, like, well, I think they taste good. But bananas have stayed consistent in my life. I've never moved on from that. And also, they're the one fruit that's like the most reliable in the sense that you can look at it and you know exactly how it's going to taste. Wow. Whereas an apple can look good and it might taste bad. Oh, and wow. grapes, wow. strawberries, bananas always taste like they're also how great they look. because they have their own packaging. Yeah, you can take them with you. Yeah, you can take them with you. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh my yeah. god! Do you need to buy organic <laughs> bananas because it has a peel? I don't know if it has to be organic. I just buy whatever's the cheapest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um, you need to knit a sweater that has banana has on a it. Banana. Have you ever been to like a banana farm? No. That could be kind of fun. Okay, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Vlog idea. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. So interesting. And I mean, I like working out or getting, yeah. you know. No, but I like bananas, the banana. Like, stayed consistent. Hell yes. Yeah. Mine Reggie? is my one to two hour baths. One huh? to two a hour day? baths? Do you go live from the bathroom? <laughs> Wait, Maybe. that was you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. A day. Wait, yes. Sally Dor started her TikTok in a bath. Like oh, that's wow. how her TikTok. It sounds up. like I was naked. An I was not bath. an yeah, empty yeah. bath. Like that was her thing. <laughs> I was fully oh, clothed. Wow. 
Yeah, people so just knew me as like the girl. Like, <laughs> do you have like a tray? Like, what are you doing? Like, or you no, like... I, I, I just sit there. I, I what time my... of day? You prune. Usually, up? usually nighttime. <laughs> okay. Usually what do you do nighttime. for two hours in the bath? Do you prune? N- I mean, yeah, and I put salt in there okay. and then just relax and I literally put SZA in the background. Oh. Wow. And I just relax. Do you do bubbles? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, crazy. And sometimes I get crazy and put a bath bomb. Do you out. pee in it? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, no. Oh my God. I thought you were going to say that. Hell, I was in a bath for two hours. Wait, <laughs> I just took a bath for literally eight minutes over the weekend and I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love I love the bath. And it's Does just, it get so, cold? It feels, it feels so comfortable. And then does it's just the like- Does the water get a little cold though? It does, after a while? but you drain it and then you fill it right back up. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Wait, this is- I might so take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, like, do you have toys, like a rubber duck? No. Like, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> maybe sometimes. Do you scroll sometimes. on your phone? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you have to shower before you bath? Bathe. I usually rinse off first and then yes. fill it up. I don't think I could ever bathe when I haven't showered beforehand. Yeah, no. So you're just Do you ever wash your hair in the bath? Um, sometimes I literally dunk my head. Okay. I literally do like a little mermaid action with my hair. <laughs> Hell yes. And just go right just back brush and it forth. How big is this bath? <laughs> oh my God, no, not that big. Oh. It's like an average. Can we come over? <laughs> is it, is it, is it, is it we a We definitely all can't fit in there. <laughs> but it, is it a shower bath? Or yes, like a, a shower bath. Okay, okay. nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, so then you'll drain it and then rinse off. Yes, oh. right away. Wow. So my friend, she grew up in London and they like only bathe or they only use baths. Mm-hmm. And so she, it's like a non-negotiable. Like yes. she has to have a bath instead of a shower. It's she the like best hates thing. showering. It's the best thing ever. Doesn't Tom yeah. Ford take like three baths a day? <laughs> yeah. I saw some okay. interview where, isn't Tom Ford like, like he's he's the he's the fashion designer, yeah. Yeah. right? Mm-hmm. But I like, saw some interview where he was like, I take three baths a day, like an hour <laughs> each. And I was like, Whoa. dude, wow. you were not mm-hmm. taking, I don't know, look into it. I thought, I think Tom Ford takes three baths Tom a day. Tom Ford bathing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. <laughs> what is something you guys wish you knew earlier in your 20s? How to do taxes? Yeah. Ooh, that's oh, a good my one. Gosh. Jesus. Taxes are some like certain money moves. Yeah. I was like, yeah. huh? like I didn't like, really learn about until much later. I don't know. It do still have, doesn't make sense to me. Do you have like, any recommendations why? of like where to learn? Um, like get your, a uh, your accountant won't get yeah. back to me. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, you said no to me twice. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I don't know. His team's really small right now, and he says he doesn't have the bandwidth. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. I just, it's just, this just came into my, my head. He can't keep up with all my funds. <laughs> right. So yeah. much going on. <laughs> realistic advice I would think would be for me which I feel like I've learned like in the past year ish is like the importance of like dating around not like dating a boy seeing where that goes it, it goes up in flames or ends fine whatever and then you move on to the next like I have learned that it's good to like go on a first date here go on a first date with this boy you go on a second date with the first boy which it's like it's you're just getting to know people it's not like you're like sleeping with all of them if you are that's fine but I think I just like I maybe because I get like very obsessed very fast it's good for me to kind of like to keep my delusions at bay I just like date around I think it's just your shopping that's a good one yeah my mom calls that homework and I wish I did that and I think that was that was gonna be like dating was gonna be like my um advice that I wish I knew I wish I I wouldn't be so strong-minded I'm I'm gonna marry this person at Mm -hmm. 20 I was like 21 years old I had a boyfriend for five and a half years and I was like so like that's my person that's my person I literally started dating him and I was like you know almost 19 years old and until I was like 24 I didn't really understand what being single was like and so to be honest I wish I just like lived a little bit more and then ever since I hit like 26 years old I was starting like I started like drinking and partying and I just wish I like enjoyed my you know my 19 to 23 year old self a little bit more Um, um, rather than just like, this is my person is not changing because m- you're most likely not going to marry the person that you're with at 21 years mm-hmm. old. And if you are, you're a unicorn and that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> yeah, mine was kind of like related to that. I wish I could have like softened the blow or kept my younger self in check like post breaking up with somebody. Like I wasted sometimes like a lot of time being sad at the mm-hmm. universe and being really upset about it, even though it was the best thing ever. And it was so liberating. It was the best thing that could ever happen to me. But just like not wasting so much time in that state of heartbreak. It's important yeah. to have heartbreak, important to um, allow yourself to be sad, experience those feelings. But just at the same time, like, okay, 
don't hyper fixate on it too much. Totally. And I and make everything you do as a response because of the breakup. I don't know. Do things for yourself in like a weird way. Yeah. I fully self-destructed. Yeah. And I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> it took me like two years to like be okay mentally again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thoroughly convinced. I was like, oh, this is great. Life is good. But it's like, yo, buddy. Like, I wish I could tell my younger self that. Like, yeah. It'll be okay. Yeah, There's yeah, going to be someone be else okay. out there that's yeah, going to make you, yes, you're going to yes. understand why everything happened. So, and when you grow up in your 20s, you're like, oh my gosh, if I married that person at 21, like, oh. thank that God that yeah. I did it. Yeah, yeah. And everything happens for a reason. I know it's so cliche, but like, like you said, also dating around, doing your homework and find out what you do and don't like about someone is so important. So then when you do want to settle down, you know exactly what you want. Yeah. I was talking to someone about this last night. It's like collecting information where it's like, I've been on dates with guys that they're just not the one, but they're nice. And there are things I like about them, but they're just, it's just nice to know one, that there's like good fish in the sea that aren't necessarily for you. But it's like, I like this aspect of him, but not as much this part. And we just don't click. Then you go to the next date and you're like, oh, he has that same quality that I liked in that one nice guy. And mm. I like him a little bit more in this. It's just like collecting and information. And you find so much about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And like what I need. Because like I would have, there are so many things that I never would have thought like, oh, I'm fine with like a guy that's like this. And then I go on a date with a few guys like that. And I'm like, wait, I actually, that's not what I need at all. Like mm. I need someone more. Yeah. So I don't know. Collecting information mm -hmm. instead of doing like going with one, seeing how that goes. Because I think women specifically, I feel like feel a lot of guilt and being like, I'm loyal to this one guy. Let's see what, how, how he decides if he like wants to be with me or not. And then you, I don't know. But yeah, so dating around, that's all. I love that. Yeah. I love it too. Homework. I forgot the question. What do you <laughs> wish uh, you would have known earlier? What do you wish you could tell your younger self? Oh, just do it. Me too. That was just mine. Just do it. Because like, honestly... It. Ever since I was like in middle school, I was like, oh my God, I've always dreamt about like living in LA and whatnot, and I'm already here, you know? But like, if I did it younger, I felt like I would have enjoyed it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more. I feel like sometimes I, my downfall, my downfall is I will wait till I think everything's going to be perfect yes. to start something yes. when in reality it'll never be perfect. Yes. Yeah. And I just need to start because consistency is where you'll learn. Like you want to look back, for instance, in, when, in, in regards to posting on social media, you want to look back and be like, oh, that was so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Like you want to look back and be like, look how much I've grown. Because yes. you learn so much as you post yes. and as you do. Yes. And then it'll never be perfect. Who knows? <laughs> Okay, so I want to play a little trivia oh with y'all. I feel like not. this is this. not fair. I feel like yeah, you guys no, are going to be so really good, good and we're going to be so good. I, did you, you know, when <laughs> we, we walked switch? in, we were like, where should we uh, sit? No! Like, oh, uh, what, oh, come on. I, at least I'm being honest. Do you guys want to... Nope, nope. No, nope. no nope. it's okay. Okay. No, okay. See, this is good. Come I on, think, guys. I think that it's going to be fine. Uh, there, there's a... It's fine. Well, maybe we're lying. Here. We're just poker facing right now, and we're gonna just crush you guys. I I hope you guys win. I do. Who knows? Maybe TK has like curated a awesome it's selection. All where it's, 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 it's all about fitness. Something. It's all about makeup and fitness. Yeah. And I like how they're bl wearing blue, and we're wearing like black and white. Yeah. Ooh. See, we can't switch. You That's know, like yeah. the. It's yeah. fine. All right, we're gonna do trivia. I'm so excited. I love trivia. Hopefully, you can learn something new while you watch and participate. Sally, Dar, and Matt are on a team, and Reggie and Katie are on a team. I will say, Matt is like really good with the random facts. Sure, I like to. A lot of people think that. I like to say that, but sometimes when the moment comes down to it, I don't know shit. So okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's see it's if some. If That's his tactic. That, Oh come on, Reggie! I, I'm being honest with myself. No, like there have been times. Enough. No, trust me, Matt is dumb as hell. Like, yeah. I, I, know. I know. He's actually that. so dumb, guys. Like, trust. What did you get on your ST SAT again? On his STD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was that on your STD? Well, it was bad, and it was. I don't wait, want to talk about it. It was okay. Okay. when I first Matt. Wait, sorry. You're trying oh, wait, to did I, did Matt I ask you what you? Matt always asks when he meets people for the first time. He goes, "What did you get on your SAT?" Oh, no, no, you like, never what? asked me that. Are you kidding? And AC. Oh. Do you guys remember what you got? Because I don't remember. No. Yeah, I don't remember it's at all. It was over 10 years ago. No, it's out remember. of 50, right? It's public information. Everyone could look. Oh, oh what? 
Like, shut that up. You imagine there was an SAT score That's Instagram bio. It was like, scored this on the SAT. <laughs> really? I wouldn't be shocked if that was his oh, bio. stop. I feel like I have asked you that, but like. <laughs> you have. I know you have. Well, because you went to boarding school and I was like, so how smart are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, I was just trying to size you up. Like, really? Well, did you get it because you were smart or because yeah. someone was <laughs> yeah. You had a good education, so I was just curious of it. <laughs> okay, let's start the game. Okay. <laughs> We'll start with Katie and Reggie. First question is, how many chromosomes are in a cell? Chromosomes in a cell? Is that 24? No. That seems a lot. Wait, um, chromosomes? Isn't it just one? <laughs> two. <laughs> two? Maybe two. In a cell? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Four? Oh, my God, I don't know. You Chromosome. have 10 seconds. Okay, just... should, we ju- should we just say one? I think it's a trick question. Okay, say one. One. <laughs> okay, Here I, I am w- thinking the difference between like a plant cell and Well, uh, it's chloroplast yeah. and cell wall are in plants well, and what not are you, for what's all your... Well, cro- chromosomes, I think it's two, two. because okay. there's like men are like X, right, and, X and Y and X and X I'm gonna go with two chromosomes Wrong What? See, it's a trick question, I'm like, what, there's something 46 uh, I thought that was DNA right. Right. Oh, was like close. Close. Yeah This wow. is gonna bring out the dumbest well, 46 <laughs> Damn. I was thinking, uh. oh, okay. okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's stupid, okay. Matt. Stupid, stupid, yeah. stupid. Okay, so it's still zero, zero. Oh, sorry, triggering. Okay, zero to zero. Who wrote the Star Spangled Banner? Oh. Got it. Oh. There okay. you go. Francis Scott Key. Wow, good job, Matt. <laughs> Thank you. How the hell? I actually feel I like rolled. I said that. Oh, like, I feel like I said his name last night, yeah. too. That's so crazy. <laughs> Todd was like, like Francis, Francis, way back. Francis Scott. I'm like, oh, Francis Scott Key. <laughs> and he was like, huh? I was like, Star Spangled Banner. I'm pretty sure I said wow, that last wow. night. Actually, let's look him up on Facebook. See what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally. Okay. <laughs> Reggie and Katie, who was the highest paid athlete in 2022? Cristiano Oh, Katie's got 15 seconds. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo or, yeah. or, or Messi? Which one should we say? The first one. Cristiano Ronaldo. No. Oh. I'm not gonna well, if it's world, say? then I want to think that it's like soccer, football, like related. Yeah. Because I, and I feel like those contracts are worth more than like. Right. If it's world, I would say it's soccer. And Messi just And if it's not won. him, then I would guess Messi. I want to go Messi. Yes. I'm Damn. so oh, 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 Katie, I, I know. I actually feel really bad I about that I want to pull one. my hair out. Katie. You had it. You should get a Shit. half point. You had it. You had no. it. This is now back to us? Right? Yeah. Okay. Just Damn. follow your gut. I know. Don't let me Which say anything. Which blood type is a universal oh. donor? It's, it's O type. Yes. Oh, wait. oh, oh, but is it O shoot. negative or is it O I think... positive? I want to say it's like O negative. I think it's O negative. Yeah, because from Bruce Almighty where he goes, O negative and you touch me with no needle. And then she says it's the universal blood type. Yes, it's O negative. O negative. Yes, it yes! yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know what, I would have never gotten that. Yeah, me neither. Oh my you know gosh. That quote from Can we the get movie? some like... Bruce Pop Almighty. Bruce Al- <laughs> no, it's Evan Almighty. And no, no, Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey, and then she, he's going to donate blood, meeting his girlfriend, and then he's like, "A B positive." No, Jennifer Aniston. He says, "A B positive isn't touching me with no needle," and then she says, "Well, I need to donate because I'm O negative, or something out. like that." Wow. Whatever. That's what wow. More you know. Whatever. I don't think I would have gotten that if I'm being so honest. Like, what up, brother? Wow. What up with the blessings upon your That was great teamwork alley. there. That was. I love okay. that. Okay. Cool. Reggie and Katie, which Canadian hockey player is considered oh. to be the best of all time or the greatest of all time? Wayne Gretzky. Yes! yes. Oh. I have never I heard that name. I yeah. not even consult Who's with you. No, I'm so no, sorry. No, I, I don't Who's his sports? daughter <laughs> married to? Paulina's married to a golfer. Uh, Dustin Johnson. Uh, Dustin Johnson, yeah. I played, uh, I have a picture of me with like Dustin Johnson. We did like a celebrity <laughs> golf thing. Kind of. I don't know. Everyone was like, that's Wayne Gretzky's daughter's. Isn't know. that so random? And then I like sent really the picture random. to like my like golf buddies and they were like whoa dude like, oh, <laughs> oh, amazing um i'm sure they get into it on the course um okay you two sally dar and matt which country artist threw javelin while attending oklahoma state university hmm. Ooh, javelin. What does that mean? you know what javelin no, is? What is that? it's like uh it's like almost like shot put but it's the one that's like a big spear you throw uh, it i don't Shit. know i mean Wait, i know country, country artists i know country we don't know artists, if it's a male or female and it's Oklahoma? Oklahoma Who's State. Oklahoma? Oklahoma State. Isn't Miranda Lambert from? I, I, I just have no clue who it would be. I can name country <laughs> artists, but. Oh, Who's in good shape? <laughs> <laughs> a 
I'm like Luke Bryan or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds. We should just pick someone random because I don't know. Three. I'm gonna say Miranda two. Lambert. Okay, that. Miranda no. Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> For the steal. Can we have a hint? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why don't we get a hint? Um, it's wait, a guy. Okay. Wait. Thanks. <laughs> Um, I don't listen to country or Riley Green's in shape. Um, so is Brett Young. He's sexy. Ooh. Um, we'll take the sexy one. No, we I think he played. <laughs> <laughs> he played <laughs> baseball. <laughs> he played baseball. Chase Rice played football. Whoa, Katie, um, you know a lot. Oh God, who is it? Fifteen seconds. I would say it's not Luke Combs. Um, I would say it's not Luke Bryan. I would say it's not. Five seconds. Oh God! Jesus, Riley so... Green. He's no uh, is Garth Brooks. Aww. No, I would never guess that. Garth. Garth. Garth Javelin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't know. Pretty impressive, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pretty impressive. I've never gotten that. Um, that was for the steal. So oh, it's good. back to okay. you guys. Oh, my, oh, oh, back to us. Okay. <laughs> Which three states share a border with California? <gasps> oh, so Nevada, Nevada. Arizona. Wait. No. Yeah. What's on Arizona. top? Nevada, Arizona. What's on top? And Oregon, Oregon. Washington. Oregon or Washington? Yeah. Oregon or Washington. Which three states? Oregon or Washington. Which one? Washington? Oregon. Oregon. I mean, no, Washington. I feel like Washington is more north. It is it? What's it about us? 10 seconds. Okay, it's Nevada, Arizona, and Colorado? No. No, no, no. no. Don't <laughs> okay, <say that>. Washington. <laughs> Washington? Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. Yes. Thank God, because you know, God, I was so fucking like, you know, in the Oregon, you know, in the yeah. Wild Wild West. Colorado. Oregon. I probably had Sorry. the nastiest look on my face when they were guessing. That. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Oregon, Washington. I'm like. <laughs> A few maps. I'm so sorry. Honestly, I'm so sorry. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I just started producing a lot of stuff. <laughs> so like, social like, studies oh is God. just not right, my cup of tea. Or who was the youngest U.S. president? I feel like it's somebody it's, really old that uh, like, yeah, or like, like one of the early ones before they like made a law that you needed to be like above forty two or whatever the fuck it is. But it wasn't was it John F. Kennedy? Is it gonna be like literally George Washington or something? How old was he? <sighs> I know Ooh. people didn't live that long back then. But like I feel like John F. Kennedy was the youngest in my head. Like it like looking Yeah, but at I feel it. like it's gonna be a trick where it's like actually just like one of the first eight. Five. You pick George or JFK or something. I'm just go with JFK. No, wrong. Damn. Sorry. Ooh, like Abraham Lincoln, he seems kind of old. No, he's. Who are you Grant, what was that? Grant? Grant? I was honestly thinking Barack Obama. Oh. Um. He could seems be. pretty young. Six. Barack Obama. No. Damn it. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt. Oh. oh. How old is he? Teddy. Um. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I should look that up. That's the mustaches. Very. Yeah. Very hard to determine back, to back us? then. Um, yes. Back to you guys. Okay. What is the name of the high school in Greece? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. I thought I did for a second, but then I was thinking what did you think it was. Oh. You're going to laugh at what I thought it was. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Five oh my seconds. God, oh God. Five seconds. Oh. Three, two, one. Answer? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Okay. Wildcats. No. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, for the, for the steal, it's Matt gonna... and Sally Dar, what do you think it is? I feel like it starts with an R. I feel like it starts with an R, too. But it's not Ridgemont High. It's yeah. not Fast Times at I Ridgemont High. I know. I was like, high. Ridgemont High. I'm like, but I want to say it's like Richmond High. Let's just try that. Richmond High? No. Rydell High. Rydell! Oh, that's so annoying. That's okay, yeah. we need the first Rydell letter. High. I thought for sure one of you would get that. Rydell. Yeah, that's you upsetting. School that drop I should have known that. Okay. Back to Matt and Sally Dar. Question is, what singer holds the record for the most Grammy nominations? Nominations? Mm-hmm. Oh. You know what? Isn't it like Barbara Streisand? Probably. Like something like that. That like, sounds like a good guess. Because I feel like it's okay. People that you could could say would be like Kate or like Beyonce. Like Beyonce, but that's what, Taylor Swift. I feel like Katy Perry like, never gets nominated. She just like has the most sales and stuff. Ten seconds. Adele? Mm-hmm. Barbara's a good guess, but like I feel like people break records all the time. That it would be someone like newer. Three, 
two, one. Barbara Streisand. Nope. Okay, I'm like, don't know why my head is going like pink. Wait, re- repeat, Great. repeat the no. question again. Okay. What like singer <laughs> holds the record for most Grammy nominations? Most Grammy nominations. Um, who's some Elvis? Is that your answer? No, sorry. Elvis Cher. Who's you think it's someone more recent? Taylor I f- Swift. I feel like it would be really recent or like Adele or something. Should we say like Taylor that. Swift? Grammy. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> How many? Ten seconds. I don't know. You go. I still want to be. I feel like Grammys was just like not that big when Elvis was alive. Three, two. Yeah. Taylor Swift. No, Beyonce. Come on, y'all. Damn. I guess that makes sense. Like she gets nominated every year for any time she puts out an album. I don't know. Dang. I think Barbara Streisand. She sells. I don't know. There's something weird about Barbara Streisand. Okay, it's your question. To us, yes. Which two RuPaul's Drag Race oh. alumni went on to release two books and two YouTube shows and a podcast together? Oh my God, Trixie Mattel and uh, um, Cartier. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh Reggie. Reggie. Slay. Slay. <laughs> Slay, Reggie. Okay, it is three to three right now. Ooh, we have a tie. Okay. Um, we did miss a few, so yeah. that's why it's only three to three. But moving on to the next question, number 12. What animal did Britney Spears famously carry on her mm. shoulders during uh, a performance? Uh, well, it's the yellow, so this yellow snake. Snake, but but it's a, is it an anaconda? Is it an anaconda? Can we just say it's snake like a and we can get it right? Yes. Okay, okay snake. snake. Okay. It's the easiest question oh, I've ever heard. Snake. Yeah, that one's pretty easy. You better like, give us an easy question. I'm so yeah. sorry, y'all. I'm so you have sorry. to name the exact breed of snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what, yellow there python. There is a, a breed for that. Or, yeah. but that snake's like harmless, though. I forgot that. No, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen snakes. But okay, Katie and Reggie. Who is the most followed person on Instagram? Ooh. Is it Kim oh. or is it Kylie? I, and how many, I guess... Wait, I think it's, it's Kylie. I think it's Kylie. I think it's Kylie. <laughs> maybe it's not. Maybe it's not Kylie. No, maybe <laughs> it's not. Wait, I'm just thinking of options because I thought it was one. That... Because I remember they they had a like Kim and Kylie. Fifteen seconds. Is it Selena Gomez? Is it something like really? Or someone like more international? Is there someone more international? Five. Like Kim or Kylie? Say say say. Kylie. No. Oh. For the okay, steal. I'm debating between Selena Gomez and Cristiano Ronaldo. I feel like I saw Selena there was like a big Cristiano thing where it was like Selena, someone had passed right. uh, Kylie. No, I, one of those two, because at one point it was Selena, but then I feel like I saw something that it was actually Cristiano Ronaldo because he has. Yes. But mm. I don't know, now I'm thinking it's maybe, maybe it's Selena. What are you thinking, Matt? I did see, I thought I saw something about Selena Gomez passing Kylie, right? Let's just say Selena. Or the most liked photo on Instagram it's Kylie. was the the egg. <laughs> 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 oh, I forgot about that. All right, that. you say oh, it's Kylie. Let's say it's Selena. Selena. Wrong. It's Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, oh, I, knew that. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was Cristiano Ronaldo the Damn. second that she said no. I uh. knew it was because you were right. It just came out like literally very yeah. recently that Cristiano Ronaldo actually just surpassed it. Right. I just saw that. Damn. And it was Selena, I think. Yeah, I because okay. at one point Selena was because me and my friends used to talk about like why because I just think there's <laughs> why Selena. I don't get. I don't get why Selena. I think she has more of like an international thing than I think like we yeah, realize. Yeah, it had to be someone international. Yeah, whereas like Cristiano, we know it's <laughs> yeah. yeah. No shade to Selena. To I'm be sorry. fully honest, I would be really terrified to post anything if I had that. Oh, followers. I would I never. Would, like actually like never post. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's terrifying. Do you think rare beauty makes more money than Kylie Cosmetics? Uh, Actually, oh, now. Rare Beauty, now. Rare Beauty's a brand? Mm-hmm. I yeah. thought you were talking about like someone who's just rare and beautiful. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, TK, what kind of... Maybe at this point it doesn't, but I feel like it will if, if, if it's not already. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so. I think it has more potential. Yeah. But yeah. I, I love both. 
<laughs> if anyone's listening, I think Mayor Beauty. I love both. I think Mayor Beauty is more accessible. Uh, no. If either brand like, wants to work, I feel like Mayor Beauty is intimidating both. to buy. So I feel like yeah. it will. Also, Rare is in stores, right? Yeah. Who's, yes. Who owns Rare Beauty? And Selena. 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 You can buy Rare Beauty in Sephora, I and I don't think you can buy Kylie stuff in Sephora. It's Ulta. You hit Ulta. Ulta. Can you name like five makeup brands, beauty brands? Mm, uh, Morphe. Okay. Sephora, Ulta. Those are not. <laughs> those, are those are stores. stores. Uh, f- oh, Kylie Cosmetics, James Charles, <laughs> just Jeffrey people. Star. <laughs> That's just naming people. Oh, Maybelline, Estee Lauder, oh, good, yeah. good good job. Mary Kay. <laughs> What's Mary Kay? Mary Kay Cosmetics. <laughs> wow, I've never actually uh, heard of that. And Mary Kay. You just like something your mom. Uh, lip smackers. <laughs> 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 That's that so was awesome. good, Matt. Yeah. Okay, fabulous. Wow. Um, moving right along, I think it's you guys. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I yes. give you the Instagram. Okay. Matt and Sally Dar, what is the most watched YouTube video of all time? Mm. <laughs> is it? Uh, see, the, I feel like these things change all the time. So it's hard to guess, like, it's not like something that's cemented in time. This is according to BuzzFeed, by the way. So if it's wrong, don't get mad it's at me. Charlie, you. I bit my finger. Yeah, is it going to be something like so old, like Evolution of Dance or one of those things? Yeah, or like Chocolate Rain or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> like, is it one of those or is it like a music video? Five seconds. Okay, you pick. Oh, wait, I think it is a music video. Oh, I think it's Gangnam Style. Perfect. Great guess. Gangnam Style. Wrong. Oh, eh. wrong. <laughs> okay, for the steal, Reggie and Katie, the clock is ticking. I was literally gonna say what's, Charlie bit my finger. Well, what's like? Maybe it's like a new music video. Most viewed YouTube video of all time. YouTube video. Mm-hmm. She didn't say music video. Is it like Kylie's baby announcement? <laughs> <laughs> what has like a what would have like a billion views? Something that like went viral. I mean, we'd see it on five, TikTok. Five. Four. Four. I'm gonna say um. Two, one. Yeah. Charlie bit my finger. No, oh my Baby Shark Dance. <gasps> oh, With like 11 billion views. Oh, I That's could crazy. so see that because it's yeah. a repeat. 11 Stupid. billion. That's insane. That's really scary. Yeah, that is really scary. Makes sense. But it makes, and they replay it for the kids. Yeah. 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 And people shark keep having kids. Yeah. Right. 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 Did you guys do. do Baby Shark when you were a kid, like at no. summer camps and stuff? No. Yes. No. Like, they yes. Would, like, whenever like we were at like a summer camp, Before it would it was be a like song. It, was it was like, like a camp like, song. Mommy Shark. Yeah. Do, do, and then you would do like Daddy Shark. Daddy Shark. Or Gotta Swim. Do, 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 do. Wow. Grandpa Shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandpa Shark. Yeah, yeah. Never been. Cousins. There. Oh, yeah. That's probably it. Explain so much. Yeah. The camp. Gotta love it. Okay, uh, that question for was for you guys. So this question is for Katie and Reggie. Name two actors who have played Batman on screen. Mm. Oh God! What are your thoughts? Barack Obama and George Bush. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no Wayne. Clue. No, it's a, um, it's like a chiseled guy. The Pat Man is a chiseled guy. Ten seconds. Um, I don't know. Oh, Robert Pattinson. No, what did he? That's one of them. Oh my God! Five okay, seconds. Wait, for sure, it's a, a Chris. K, 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 it's okay. A, Wow, good job, Reggie. Robert Pattinson and, and wait, time has gone up. Okay, <laughs> okay right. Jesus. Robert Pattinson's one. Oh, I can I can do them all. We have Michael Keaton, George Clooney, Val Kilmer, Adam West, well, I'm Robert Pattinson, Christian Bale, Christian Bale, yeah, Christian and oh uh, yeah, I can yeah, I'm pretty sure Damn. that's all. all can of you do them. the Joker? Uh, the Joker. Walking like, Phoenix. Originally, walk, well, Walking Phoenix. Walking Phoenix was in. Yeah, yeah, the Joker. Keith Ledger. Um, Jared Leto. Wow. I don't know who was like the original Joker. Oh, uh, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, Jack Nicholson. Oh, oh pretty good. Right. Name all of the Kardashian and Jenner <coughs> kids. So like Kim, Chloe, okay, their so kids. N- their kids? Yes. That is so what? I just saw Chris do a video Chris where she Jenner's tried to name them all. Children. <coughs> okay, well name the newest all. Kylie baby is Air. <coughs> we have Stormy. Okay, so that's Kylie. I think she only has two kids. Then we have Kim's kids, North, North, West, or Northwest is one. North, um, mm. 
Okay, well, I, I need to that. I don't that. know. Uh, <laughs> Chloe's is dream. Um, true, true. Trio is one. Are you keeping track of what we've said? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, and then we need uh, 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 oh. Courtney's. Um, oh. Penelope, Mason. Mason Disick, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> how, many more, how many more do we have left? Uh, you have five seconds. Oh, or, well, what about Brody Jenner? Three. Doesn't he have any kids? He, he doesn't count right now. Oh. Two, Stop. one. I don't, can't remember the others. Okay. Wow. So we'll, how many more did I have? One or quite two? Quite a few. So Kim also has Rain and Chicago. Damn, Chicago. No, Rain is Courtney. Courtney, okay, sorry. Chicago for Kim. Mm-hmm. Wait, so uh, can oh, wait, we restart? So, yeah. Okay. So we have, we'll go Courtney first because she was the first one. We have Mason, we have Penelope, and we have um, Rain. And then we'll go with Chloe, which is Dream and True. True. And then we'll go to Kim, which is we have North, we have Saint, we have Chicago, and we have, oh my God, what's the newest one? Five seconds. Oh my God. And then Kylie is um, Air. Um, Air and Stormy. Stormy. What and is then that? one more. Oh my god, my god, my god, my god, my god. Psalm. Yes. Woo! Reggie, yes, that was unbelievable. Woo! I did not know Jesus. there was a baby named Psalm at any point. I did not know. Okay. Wow. The only thing, I'm going to give you the point, but the only thing that was wrong is Dream is Rob's kid, not Chloe's kid. Oh, oh right. They said that, though. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> that's nothing to do with you. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think she named her new kid yet. No, she hasn't. They were thinking of. Good Thompson. job, Reggie. That was, that really, was really good. Really good. Wow. Thank you. Okay, what another Kardashian question, so it starts with you, Whew. is which Kardashian sister owns a denim brand car- called Good American? Oh my God, oh my God. Chloe. Chloe. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the equivalent to the snake. Duh. Yes, you <laughs> facts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, more okay. even now. Um, Sally, Dor, and Matt, what is Mean Girls Day? Oh, oh. October 3rd. Yes. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October, October 3rd. Correct. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> day after was... my birthday. Good job. Okay. Who are the songs Bad Blood, All Too Well, and Back to December rumored to be about? Who sang them? Taylor Swift. Oh. I mean, Back to December, wasn't that rumored about Taylor Lautner back in the day? Wait, can you say that one more time? All Too Well, Jake Gyllenhaal. And Bad Blood. Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. And what, who is Bad Blood about? Oh, they're different ones. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not about one person? Yeah. No. Oh. We have bad Blood. Yeah. So you got back to December and all too oh, well. Oh, I thought they're, okay, sorry. I, <laughs> <laughs> they're <laughs> really. I going crazy right bad now. Bad Blood, is that about either. Harry Styles? Let's go with Harry Styles. Wrong. Wrong. John okay. Mayer. Okay. okay. I'm... Back to December is about Taylor Lautner. Yes. All Too Well is about Jake Gyllenhaal. Can yes. I guess Bad Blood? You sure. Wait, well, I'll we'll prove it. Okay. Don't listen to him. Is it Katy Perry? Well, okay. What? Bad Blood is kind of a hard one because it's about reputation, which you could say could be about Kanye, could be about uh, Scott Borchetta, her manager, could be about, um, uh, what's his name, Justin Bieber's manager, Scooter sure, Braun. Right. So I would say, to, as a collective, kind of Kanye... Scooter Braun, like it's, I don't know what's. Katy Perry. Okay. She has all the girls in the but music video. But I just, video. Reputation as an album is about. Except Katy Perry is not in the music video, right? You have Ellie Golding. Okay, you, you can have, get Katy Perry I'm if you pretty want. pretty sure you have Selena Gomez in the music video. She's looking at you like you're right, so just say Katy Perry. I Sorry. swore. I need to have a and I'm not, a, I, I am a Swifty, but like not, you say know. Say Katy Perry. Katy Perry. That is correct. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. That's good. It's a little unfair. You need to have more of a poker I'm sorry. Face. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't look at her at all. That's, yeah, I I honestly did not. I wouldn't have thought that was about Katy Perry. That's, I just thought it was more about like the have general. I, I did have think it was about Katy Perry too. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah. I, I will have a better poker face. Maybe it was like, about more than Katy Perry. I just feel like if I was, nah, I, I guess rem- I was thinking of the album as a collective. But it makes sense because yeah. there's a lot of people in that music video, and she's. I, and not I remember in it. feeling yeah. like, oh, it's about Katy Perry, and she has all of these people in yeah. it. Literally I was like, everyone. I couldn't imagine being Katy Perry and being like, it's yeah. about me, and they all hung out without me and made a music mm-hmm. video. Okay, this is the last yeah. question, and it's for you guys first. You have the option to steal. Ooh, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. What show currently holds Netflix's all-time viewership record? Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. Question like twenty. Oh, isn't it Squid Game? Maybe. Squid Game. I'm just gonna name some popular ones. Squid Game, Bridgerton. It has to be a Netflix original. Probably. Fifteen seconds. Squid oh, yeah. Game, I think, is a good guess. 
Because international is international, and it was like everywhere. Let's just say Squid Game. Squid Game. That is correct. Yes. Shit. <laughs> that is correct. Shoot. Wow. Do we get a rebuttal? Good job. <laughs> I don't have like one. I think it's like ten minutes. This is fun. Like, that was so it. Was that was fun. Congrats. <laughs> uh, honestly, you guys played really well. Yeah. That was good. That was a really I was healthy yeah, commentary. So it was, the it was drag good. Race yeah. And it was Kardashian. good. Kardashian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for yeah. a little pop culture. For the gays. Yeah, for the gays. <laughs> well, this has been amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming on. I just have one last question um, to wrap this up, which is what are y'all doing to make moves right now in your life or in 2023? And is there any way each of us can help each other fulfill that move? I really love that. It's like I know you asked this question. I did not think of it before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a combination of things. Okay, go ahead. Um, we're taking like Hoot and Half to like Hoot and Half 2.0. It's gonna be more Mike and I, but we're kind of like amping up the set and the quality and like um, like less guests, less guests, or just more conversations and not just like so. Who are you? Where are you from? Kind of like Copy. interviews. I've just been a little burnt out on that. So just kind of bringing a new energy to the podcast, Snapchatting more, and honestly knitting more. Like I, I swore I would do one thing every month, like complete one thing every month, and I have not finished my sweater. And I've been thinking about it so much. Okay. So um, ask me how I, uh, my knitting's going more often. Okay. okay? Cool. Cool. Amazing. <laughs> I'm excited for Hoot and Half. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. What topics do you want to hit? Um, uh, uh, Things I want to talk about. It's, <laughs> I'm not going to reveal all my bag of tricks on um, like, things I want to talk okay. about. And I want to start my... Uh, my, mur- my I also want to start another podcast as well. It's like a murder, mis- it's a murder mystery podcast. podcast. It's a cold four. case that happened in my hometown. I just need a good lead. So if you know what happened to Susan Smalley and Stacey Madison in 1988 in Why don't you just Texas, look her up on Facebook? Yeah, not hard. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> wait, they might not be dead. I don't know. we got to figure out what happened to them. So Okay, those yeah. are great goals. I... I'm focusing on YouTube more, um, so just kind of prioritizing that. Um, and one of my New Year's resolutions, I don't really, I'm not good about re- resolutions, but more so like goals, is that with my knitting, I kind of want things to be more cohesive, like a cohesive style across it. Like if you look at a oh. painter, you can like be like, oh, I can tell that's by that person. It's and a I great feel goal. Like some of my pieces are more like one-offs. Mm-hmm. The thing in common right now is I just do a lot of like phrases. Your brand, but I kind it. of want like the overall like design of like colors or like the way I switch colors, not just the words, to kind of be more cohesive overall, mm-hmm. so people can recognize it immediately. Wow, um, so cool. So I don't know. We'll see. Just mm-hmm. more. It's just a recognizable brand minus the word part, even though I do like that part. Yeah. I, I love like it. That. Which, by the really way, cool. Salidar sells her patterns. I do. Wow. Ten I've done a pattern. for a PDF. Yes, it's he's so done a pattern. E- it's one of the easiest things to follow. Try. I've looked at some try. patterns online and I've been like, this is try. junk. This is nonsense. I wish they could write patterns like Sally Dar. Sally Dar's <laughs> makes so much sense. Mm-hmm. And they I look great. Cool. Where can they buy the pattern? Um, my Etsy. It's uh, just a PDF. You buy it. You download it immediately. You can just search my name, Sally Dar Griffin, Etsy, and it'll pop up. Amazing. Cool. Wow. So cool. Such a unique cool hobby that you really capitalize yes. on. It's which a is good awesome. thing to start in the new year too because it's like a lot of people get down on themselves for not having a hobby which I think is fine. You don't have to have a hobby but if you are looking for a hobby it's a fun one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can wear your hobby. You can wear it. I love it. So I cool. love that because like I think my goal for this year is literally do more artistic things because mm-hmm. You're honestly so creative. I, like, I love being creative. Mm-hmm. Like if it's from interior designing if you want your set I did Jason's. <laughs> But, um, Do you not like my set? <laughs> Is that what you're saying, help. Reggie? That's what I'm, I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping. No, no, no. I know, yeah, I need to. But I just want to do anything more creative mind, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to launch a jewelry line. <gasps> Fun. I mean, that oh, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, you wear yes. your yes. ear. No, I'm, I'm testing out the earrings right yeah. now. Yeah, oh! Cool. Yeah, but hopefully soon enough. Cross that is so awesome, Reggie. Yeah. Cool. Congrats. I'm so excited to wear everything. Yes. That's fabulous. I love how everyone's just like so different and cool. I know. (laughs) Katie, go ahead. My goal is to really grow the Katie Austin app in April of this year. It'll actually be five years of the Katie Austin fitness program, which is crazy how time flies. That's insane. And I've done it all myself and I run the back end. I videotape myself. I make up the workouts. I literally do everything. And I'm really excited because I'm expanding my team and to grow it. I mean, to grow any business to scale, you have to, you can't just be you yourself and I, Mm -hmm. and I've learned that. And so I'm actually for the first time ever investing in myself and actually putting my own money like into my company creating like an LLC and like an S Corp the 
whole thing and just becoming more of like a company rather than just like me. I just went through a whole rebranding process of a whole new logo and just really All full of green, force baby. of like, yeah, just full <laughs> force like doing like what I, my business that I've always wanted to do, but like I've never put any money behind it. And so I'm really excited. Wow. I'm yeah. so, I'm so excited for you. Thank you. And are you hiring any new team members? Um, yes, I am hiring new members. <laughs> I'm actually looking for like two different team members. So like one can handle more the business side, one more the creative side. Um, and honestly, I'm just like really excited to expand. I've never really been like a boss like that of someone or like, yeah. I would call myself a CEO, but like entering that new role. I feel like you would be a great boss. I yeah. feel like I would be like way, like way too chill to be like, oh, let's not work today. I don't yeah. know, but um, <laughs> I'm working on it. So I'm excited. Well, I love it. So if you guys want to work out with me anytime, you can work out with me. Yes. And her at home gym is fabulous. Yes. Mm -hmm. TK just came over for a walk. Yeah. It was so fun. <laughs> we had the best time. Anyway, um, it's been such a blast having y'all on. Everyone, go follow everyone. Do you want to go through and plug yourself? Sure. Um, all my apps are just Sally Dar Griffin, my full name, except for my knitting account, which is SDG Knits, linked in my bio on my other accounts. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat sometimes, but now I'm going to do it more. <laughs> yeah. um, Instagram, did I name everything? Twitter is at Sally Dar, no Griffin. Uh, yeah, just a lot of knitting and commentary on my life. Go eat a banana, you guys. Eat a banana. Today <laughs> for Sally Dar. Yeah, as with me, it's Matt R. King on most apps. Uh, and uh, subscribe to me on Snapchat. I'm gonna be posting a lot on Snapchat. <laughs> and go check out my podcast, Hoot and Half, Unfiltered. Good influences. And that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Great job. Katie, go ahead. At Katie Austin, almost everything on Snapchat. I'm Get Fit with Katie, uh, the Katie Austin app, and youtube.com slash Katie Austin Fit. Mine's pretty easy. Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok at Reggie Creations. Amazing. This was fun. So, fun. so I love that. Fun. And I loved getting to know you guys, too. Like, yeah. It was such a fun way to, like, hang out. Mm -hmm. Let's do so it again. Fun. If you guys liked us so much yeah. and want us to come <laughs> back, comment we'll down below. Podcast. We'll come back. <laughs> um, yeah, be sure to make someone's day this week. I love y'all. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.